Cirrus Logic product manager Sharam Tadehan discusses the advanced technology requirements needed to power the next generation of haptic enabled applications. There's actually a lot of engineering that goes into making a haptic effect that the brain perceives to be a button. Haptics is generated from an actuator, usually an LRA, that moves back and forth quickly. It's important for the haptics driver I see to have enough voltage to drive this quick, which makes it a strong response. Many applications, such as phones and wearables, have low voltage batteries. So it's important that the technology have a boost converter to drive the voltages higher to make that strong feeling. Not only is it important to have a strong feeling, you also want a sharp feeling. And that means that you want to stop that LRA as quickly as possible. This can be achieved through DSP and closed loop algorithms. Then once you have that strong, sharp click, it's important to happen fast. The brain perceives something in 25 milliseconds. So if you can get that to happen from when you press to when it goes into your brain within 25 milliseconds, then it feels right. Cirrus Logic has also developed waveform creation tools that go beyond the click to give you effects like scrolling or a zoom pinch if you're on your trackpad or a heartbeat sensor. With the tools, you can make these waveforms easily. In summary, a great haptic solution needs a boost converter, a closed loop system, and low latency.